parents have been chewing up a lot of my time with lots of questions about their children grinding their teeth at night. Well, let me see if I can grind their concerns to a halt with some information on this problem. The condition of grinding teeth or jaw clenching carries with it an interesting medical name, bruxism, a term you may be unfamiliar with, but I can guarantee you that 30% of otherwise healthy children are familiar with it since they do this, although most of them don't know they do this since they're asleep when it happens. So what causes teeth grinding? Sometimes it can be due to a child's teeth growing in improperly and problems arising with their bite. Other times it can occur due to stress or even due to pain from an earache or teething. We know this behavior can also run in families and has been associated with sleep disordered breathing, such as when big tonsils block the back of the mouth, and this can lead to an increase in jaw and teeth clenching as children pull their jaw forward to keep their airways open. So is teeth grinding a problem? If you're at all concerned about your child doing this, talk to his or her healthcare professional who will probably refer you to a pediatric dentist to make sure there is no problem with their teeth or bite. Sometimes a referral may be made to an ear, nose, and throat specialist to see if the tonsils may be part of the problem. What will most likely happen is in the absence of a dental or tonsil problem, both your child's dentist and healthcare professional will work with you to better determine if stress may be making the night grinding worse. Sometimes simply reducing stress before bed with a warm bath and a good relaxing book may be all it takes to reduce the frequency and severity of episodes at night. The good news is in the absence of one of the medical or dental causes I just mentioned, which are not frequently found, this condition doesn't hurt your child or their teeth and lasts for a few weeks or months before it simply goes away, usually before adolescence. So that hopefully tips like this will grind your concerns to a halt when it comes to knowing more and worrying less about your child's teeth grinding. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your teeth.